So in this lesson, we're going to look at Godot and text. So the Godot engine is fantastic and working with text is no different. The thing you need to remember when you are working with text, I mean, this one here is, is an image and we exported that from, from PowerPoint. This is my first app. But when you're working with text, the font has to be embedded inside of the Godot folder. Because if you imagine you're going to deploy it to any number of any number of platforms and all of which will work slightly different. So in order to get the right font into your app, you need to make sure that the actual font is, is placed inside of the, the folder. So let's just start by doing that and we'll pause it as we go. So the first thing is here's our app folder. So we've got our assets, we've got our scenes, we've got our scripts. Let's start a new folder. So right click or go to the new folder button. So new folder and let's call it fonts. Because if you imagine your app could probably have an, a great number of fonts, more than one, probably about five or six. And to get consistency across all development environments, you, you're going to want to do this. So the first mission is let's have a fonts folder. Once we've done that, let's go back into our scene and let's just make sure it's populated itself, which it has. Now we need to go in and find our font or go and get a font. Now, there's a, a number of ways of doing this. And let's just go into the fonts folder because we're going to drop it in here. So the way that I like to do it is if you go to Google and you type in something like um, font file and you'll find a, a number of really good font types sites the one that i really like is this dafont.com because you don't need to log in and it just does it and most of them you have to check the user agreements but most of them are have got a creative commons end user license which means that they can be deployed there are there's certain issues with with certain like helvetica is not allowed to be used on certain platforms because it's under massive license so you do have to check the the license with these fonts just to make sure that they're okay. And the fonts, the fonts, fonts um, tend to be all kind of open source and Creative Commons. So from there, you can just press download. Now it takes a couple of seconds and it does give you a zip file. So let's just go back to our the fonts folder and let's just drag this font into it. If you can't see this link, it's because it's in your downloads folder. So you can just click on the download and you can get it from there and just copy it into this fonts file. You can't work with a zip file. Most programs will allow you to double click and then extract all. It, with a Mac system, you just double click and it instantly extracts it and it's fine. On a Windows system, if you click on a zip and up in this header area, you normally get the option to extract all. So you extract it all and just make sure it goes into this fold, into this fonts folder. Once you've done that, you can delete the zip. That's absolutely fine. You can keep it there as well. It makes no difference. It might add a bit of weight to your, your end folder, but you can leave it there if you want to. So we have this here and I'm just going to rename this because I've downloaded it earlier and I don't want the extra one there. And inside of this, you have all of them. And the one you're looking for is this TTF. That's the one that we're going to work with inside of Godot. So if you want to download more font folders, just go to the font and font files and you can actually download as many as you want. So this is broken at the minute for some reason. So tell you what we're going to do. We're going to pause the video here and you guys go off and download your fonts, get as many as you want, make and uncompress them and put them in your fonts folder and then we'll move on. So pause the video. Okay, so here we are again. So we've got a fonts folder and we can double click on it and here's our font that we're gonna use for this particular one and it's the TTF. Now I don't need the font on this first page. The place I'm gonna have it is on my info scene. So if I go back to the PowerPoint and we have a look over the info scene, we have information and then we have text. This is just blanket text. You can you'll probably write whatever you want here. Now, the idea, if you get loads and loads of text, you might want a scrolling bar. Now, Godot takes care of that instantly for you, and I'll show you that in a second. So the only thing we're gonna need to do is copy this text into Godot, but let's set up our node structures first. So we're on our infos page. I've already gone ahead of time and deleted the, the placeholder here that said info scene. So you can delete yours as well if you want. And I'm just gonna click on this info button, this info one, just to make sure that we have selected the correct node and then I'm going to press the plus. 
you've got a few options. If I type in the word label, you've got a couple of options. You've got a normal label and then you've got this rich text label. It doesn't really matter, and they're under this control section. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I, I kind of like the rich text, so I'm just going to go with that one. So if you haven't got it in your recent, press double click and you've got it here. And you can have as many of these as you want. So I'm going to use two. One for the title, which is this one here. So I'm going to come down to the text, and I'm just going to say info page. Okay, so that's going to be my title. And you can make this bit bigger here. And then I'm going to have another one. Now, one thing you can do is you can right click and you can say duplicate. So let's just duplicate that font and let's give them the name. So click on it again and say title text. And let's say main text for this one. Now, as you can see, the, the area that you have to put your text into is very, very small. So it really doesn't make sense for you to just copy and paste it. You can also use um, the area here to do it as well, but I'm gonna stay out of this for now because it opens up a separate editor. I'm just gonna to say to you guys, just copy and paste your text into here. So let's head on over to PowerPoint and let's select all of our text and control copy or command copy if you're on a Mac. And let's come into this box here. Now, let's make sure we're on the right one. Let's move it into place first. And we can make this box a bit smaller just so it doesn't overlap and that that will become qu quite important later and we can make this box a lot bigger because it's going to have most of our text in now we'll double click in the text box and we'll delete all of our text and press command or control v to paste in our text and then press enter and you'll notice that you get all of your text and it comes in exactly as you'd expect obviously there's no formatting yet the one thing you need to know is that if you drop this pull this up you will get this scroll bar which allows you to have lots and lots more text so let's just save this scene and let's test it make sure that works so click on my info there they both are and let's just scroll down to make sure that works which is fantastic and we are happy so let's pause the video again and you guys get that part in get your text in and then we'll move on Okay, so now we've got the text in and we're happy. We now need to format it. So we're gonna have a look at the properties and just see how we can go about formatting it. I'm gonna take the scroll bar off, there we go. Just move that into place. So the first thing we need to look at is the info, info page title, which needs to be a lot bigger. So we have our um, the breakdown font here from our fonts folder, and you might have a few more and that's absolutely fine. So we need to import that font. So how you do that is you need to scroll down and you need to hit the button that says custom fonts. The one I'm going to use for this is just the normal font button and I'm going to click on this drop down and I'll click on new dynamic font. Okay, from here we're going to click it again and we'll click on the edit button. Okay, the edit button brings up a new screen. If you want to get back to where you were, you can just press the back. But before you do that, let's add our font. So we're looking at two settings here. We're looking at the font for the import and the settings for the size. So let's click on this one and let's drag our TTF file onto the null and drop it there. And now let's go to the settings and let's just make it bigger. Now this is in points. So let's say 32 points and press enter and let's make that bit bigger. So let's pause the video again and you guys get to that point. So Go into the dynamic fonts bit and add your dynamic font to the edit menu and then increase the size. Okay, so we're happy enough with that and we can do that one more time just to make sure you, got, you guys are genuinely happy. It's not going to look right with this font here, but I'm going to do it anyway just so that you guys get the process and, and make sure you're happy with it. So let's get back to the main window by just pressing back and it will get us to our main scene. If for some reason you can't see your main scene, you just can click it here and it will get you back to this area. So let's run the process again. So we come down to custom fonts and you can scroll down to the normal one and you say dynamic font and then click on the, the drop down again and press edit 
which takes you into the second menu. Remember to get back, you can just press this button here. And then to move back into it, you can just press the edit button. From here, we drill down the font and then we just drag our font onto it. Okay, once we've done that, we come into settings and we can say, let's say 12 for this one and press enter. And we have our font. Like I said, I'm not particularly happy with it here. I definitely wanted it here, but that part's that's not, not great. But we'll leave it at that and we can change the font and we can add fonts and if you're not happy with the font remember you can come back into this and you can drag another font from your library onto this area now the final part of this lesson i want to show you guys is changing the color so i want to make this info page a different color so what we need to do is come down to custom colors so we've changed this bit here and we say default and we just turn it on and then we change the color so that should give you loads and loads of flexibility and it gives you loads to play with. Before we head off and let you guys add all your extra fonts and whatnot, let's just press play and make sure it works. Okay, now final disclaimer is the default website that we were using, it might not be accessible on your school's hard drive in which case you'll probably need to get someone to download you a TTF file at my facility I believe it is available so you should be able to just click on download and you should be able to just download any font from here that you want um, and try them all they're, they're, they're great there's actually don't try them all there's thousands um, and then finally just make sure you can extract that zip so the, those are going to be the two hardest bits about dealing with fonts so on you go, and I'll see you in the next one when we look at how to create a player.